So, at this point, I may do a bit of rounding, but the main uh, thing is to make a tenon on this end that will be able to grip in the chuck. According to uh, where'd you go? Aha. According to my manual here, um, the number two jaws which I have mounted there. For external chucking of round stock, I can, uh, my range is from 1 and 9 sixteenths inches to 2 and 15 sixteenths inches. So, I would say, if I can make a tenon about an inch and 5 eighths in diameter, that will, uh, be good. So I'll use my uh, 3 8 beating and parting tool. I'll move the rest a little closer. Maybe raise it up a hair. Okay, so that should let me grip that end in the chuck while I'm boring the hole in this end for the handle, or for the tool shank. Um, now 
Now this is a uh, P and N. Spindle gouge. Which means the hole in the handle should be 12 millimeters. is verging on being too small. Hopefully I can get a good enough grip on it. If not, I might have to change to my profile jaws instead of these smooth jaws. And I'm sure they will grip smaller. I think that's actually going to be fine. Uh, I just have to figure out whether... I know I bought some metric grad point bits, I just don't know whether they go up to 12 millimeters or not. I don't seem to have a 12 millimeter bit, so I've got a, 20, a 15 30 seconds bit uh, mounted here. We'll see if it will give me a hole big enough. I'm just going to uh, make a test hole first and then we'll see then I'll, t I'll try the uh, tool in it and if it won't go I'll have to go to a, a uh, 31 64th bit. Well, how about that? That will go in a 15-30 seconds hole. Now, according to my conversion, it probably shouldn't have, but it's entirely possible that there's enough alignment error between the headstock and tailstock that that hole is uh, being cut slightly oversized to what the bit is. Or, it's also entirely possible, since this was a fairly cheap set of bits, that that bit is a little oversized from what it uh, says it is. Regardless, it seems to fit. So, I'm going to go ahead and drill the hole. I want it, uh, let's see. Alright, I, uh, it's entirely possible that I've used that bit before, because I've got a magic marker mark on it right there. That's probably, it's just about, well, two and a quarter, I guess, would be about accurate. It's That's not taking into account the, uh, the tapered end there, but, uh, so I will go ahead and bore that hole. To that depth. That seems like a reasonable depth to me. And I'm backing out to clear the waste. Well, my mark is here. 